last day before the end of term for people to come together in their own time to stay at 10 to 9 on a uh, school night. This person put in and has put in so many hours, mainly bossing us around, mainly bossing Ian around at the back, who I think calls him the enforcer or something along those lines. Um, however, you know, it, there is absolutely nothing in it for someone like Ross that is putting all of this time and effort just so that he can share his passion with others and they can share their passion with others further. So, I mean, I only know him as Teacher Toolkit, even though I do know him um, personally. He is presenting. I don't believe he presents very often, so we're in for a real tweet, treat to have him here. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. Um, <laughs> Freudian slip. And I, I knew when Ross had like 1,500 followers on Twitter, and now he's got over 100,000 the most influential teacher on the social media sphere. Ladies and gentlemen, big massive round of applause for Ross Miguel. Okay. Uh, right, I like to challenge national policy. That's the way I like to do things. So I'm going to speak incredibly quickly. Uh, how can we generally improve teaching. Uh, I want to, us all to consider something. Another brick in the wall perhaps, something to make it stronger. If we keep doing the same old thinking, we get the same old results. In 2014 or before, 800 hours of teaching throughout an academic year, someone came into your classroom for three hours a year and then put you in a box, judged you. Okay, and all sorts of outcomes. 18 months ago, a few bloggers, myself included, challenged Ofsted. We kept pushing, pushing and eventually took gradings out of the Ofsted framework. So no more grades. Hooray. Can we have a big cheer? Okay, good. In our school, so we don't grade lessons. We have department reviews. Uh, we have a learning policy that's evolving on a mark plan teach model. It kind of tries to reduce workload. It's got a common vernacular that we're trying to get all our teachers to use. Same, you know, we want staff to be uh, creative, but we want kids to get the same experiences from classroom to classroom. Plus, we have an overtime methodology rather than the one-off snapshot. Some schools still do learning walks, and apparently you don't give feedback. Why? Generalize, sweeping generalization. So I think we need to stop it. So this is my next provocation. Teaching stuck if we keep doing learning walks without giving that teacher some feedback. So here's one more brick I'd like us to consider. Coaching. This is something given quite a lot of thought over the last two or three months, and something I'd like us to consider. So I'm going to be quick. Banish lesson gradings forever. Stop traditional three lessons per year. No more formal observations ever. Can we have a cheer, please? Okay. Every teacher to receive coaching, quarter of your staff at least to be a coach. Uh, we've got allocating funding, allocating time, 50-minute observations, 30 minutes feedback, no paperwork, an optional logbook, rigorous training for the coach, uh, relationships outside of appraisal, across departments, across roles, a specific framework, that common vernacular again, keep saying a certain script as a coach, the cycle would repeat every week and it would last for at least two terms. It would also be voluntary. So the maths, believe it or not, it's a long time since I was an NQT, but £27,000 in a London, it works out to be about £120 a day, very sad. If you look at that as a basic model, 38 lessons throughout the year once a week, £760 it works out to be. We look at 25 staff about that scale. I'm very, I failed my maths, by the way. Uh, so £19,000 equivalent to make that work for 25 staff. Obviously, you take those lessons away. They need to be covered by someone else. So you could double that amount. That's what we're talking about to make this work. For 50 teachers at the various scales, various kind of uh, MPS and UPS, there's the mass, probably very crude, it's on my blog, you can read it later. That's the figure. So you're looking at two or three NQT salaries, that kind of level, to make this work in your school. The future, this is my next blog rant, the educational excellence everywhere. Uh, to finish off, a little heads up. Ofsted will consult on removing the separate graded judgments on the quality of teaching and learning in their inspection. So, in many ways, that's a good thing. They're going to let us just get on with it. But this is what we're all about, teaching and learning. So, fair enough, look at the data, look at the outcomes. Uh, but that's the heads up. And I'd like to challenge Ofsted that that can happen from September. Thank you very much for everyone coming this evening. Thank you for listening.